My name is Dr. Jonathan Huber. Today we're going to be talking about FUE, or follicular unit excision, which is a hair transplantation procedure. We used to refer to this as follicular unit extraction. The name has recently changed to emphasize the notion that this is really a surgical procedure that's best done by an experienced surgeon. Uh, in a FUE procedure, what we do is we use a small motorized punch. The punch that we're using here today measures less than a millimeter, 0.9 millimeters, and we're individually excising 3,000 grafts from the donor area. And in this case, uh, that's from the back of the patient's head and the sides of the patient's head as well. We'll take uh, each of those 3,000 grafts individually. We'll have them each inspected uh, by our technicians under high um, under uh, microscopy to ensure that we've selected only the best grafts, that we've got all 3,000 grafts, and then we'll take those 3,000 grafts and we'll plant them uh, into the recipient areas, which in this case were the uh, hairline, top of the patient's head, extending all the way back to the crown. What we do is we use a rotary punch to excise the graft. We numb up the patient's head with local anesthetic so patients can drive here, they can drive home, there's no sedation. Uh, and that motorized punch uh, measures anywhere from 0.7 to 0.9 millimeters. It's very small. And um, with uh, the magnification eyewear that we use, we're able to identify each individual graft and excise it using that motorized rotary punch. The surgeon excises the graft. Yeah. Uh, our assistant, our nurse, yeah. will then take uh, some forceps and gently uh, move the grafts from the, from the donor area into a storage medium mm -hmm. where it'll then go directly to uh, one of our technicians to examine under the microscope and then it will stay for a brief time in that storage medium until it's placed into the recipient area in the patient's head. People will walk out of here uh, with some visible scabs from the implanted grafts and we give everyone a hat to cover up with, uh, but they'll walk out feeling great under their own power, they'll drive themselves home because there's no uh, sedation, local anesthetic only. Um, and after about 10 days, those scabs will disappear. There might be a little bit of residual redness, but by two weeks, uh, your scalp is looking completely normal. And of course, if you've already got hair up there, we leave the hair, we can leave the hair in place in some cases. And if we do leave the hair in place, then the existing hair that you have uh, covers that up. Most people will choose to shave their entire head for an FUE procedure, although in some cases we can leave some hair on top where we implant the grafts. Of course, we have women who are patients of ours here, and some women are a good candidate for hair transplantation procedures. We also offer the FUT, otherwise known as the strict procedure. People often ask us, what's the best procedure? And we like to say that there's no such thing as the best procedure, there's the best procedure for that individual patient. So some people are good candidates for the strip procedure, some people are good candidates for the FUE procedure. Um, for example, somebody who doesn't want to shave their head or can't shave their head might be a good candidate for the FUT strip procedure. The risks are very, very minimal with hair transplantation. There's a very tiny risk of infection, but the risk is so low that we don't need to give antibiotics before the procedure. We rarely have to use antibiotics after the procedure. Um, there's a little bit of redness, uh, a little bit of swelling, but all of this goes away very, very quickly and the procedure is very well tolerated. Most people require nothing more than taking an extra strength Tylenol when they get home uh, to go to sleep and even that's for the first day or so. We're really lucky. We have a lot of options for hair restoration for people. Some of them are medical and some of them are surgical. It's really about, and again, there's no such thing as the best option for anybody. It's really about the goals that the person has coming to us in consultation. Uh, some people, their goals can be met without a hair transplant, and that's fine. We can help facilitate that, and we can help make that decision as well. For some people, their goals require a hair uh, transplant. We, uh, our consultations are always free at the clinic, so you can uh, check out our website or give us a phone call. All our contact information is there. Uh, send us a note. We'll uh, book you in for a consultation. And we see people from all over the world, in fact. So if you can't make it in person to a consultation, we'll be happy to give you a call on the phone. We can communicate by email. We'll help you make uh, the right choice uh, for your uh, hair restoration.